to get you access to the Loeb Electric Gear Team Expertise 24-7, anytime you need it, we're bringing you our custom panel board configurator. This tool enables you to build a bill of material in minutes and order or build a quote. To start building, visit shop.loebelectric from your mobile device, tablet, or desktop. If you do not have a web account set up with Loeb Electric, I'd recommend you set one up at this point. This is going to get you access to custom pricing online anytime, as well as a ton of other My Account features. You can do that by clicking register here, or you can sign into your existing account to confirm that you'll see your pricing. To visit our panel board configurator, you're going to want to select it from the gray bar on our desktop, or on a mobile device, it's going to be in the upper left. Once you hit that page, click Start Building. We're now going to configure a panel board based off of the panel schedule. First, our panel voltage is a three-phase, four-wire panel with a voltage of 208-120. The panel has a bus rating of 400 amps, and I know a subfeed is needed because my feeder breaker is greater than 100 amps. This would also be selected if feed-through lugs are required. I'll now select my 400 amp main breaker frame and confirm that it's 42 circuits. 30 is grayed out as we do not stock a panel board that meets that requirement. Now, due to this being an indoor panel board, I'm going to select NEMA 1. And my schedule also informs me that this is a panel board with a surface mount. So at this time, I'm going to confirm a few things. First, it's a main breaker. It has a 400 amp frame breaker rating a 400 amp trip rating for the main breaker, and confirm my subfeed device is required, and it's with a breaker. My sub, my sub feed frame rating is 225 amps, and I'm gonna select that that's a bottom mount kit due to the application. The max amperage is 150 amps, and as my final step, I need to select those 42 feeder breakers. First up, I have six two-pole 15 amp breakers. They're standard type. I need six. And once these are selected, you'll see that the Add to Configuration button populates. You'll want to select that. And then you need to choose another breaker to satisfy the rest of your breaker requirements. Next up, I need a 35 amp two pole breaker, just one, and to complete my remaining 28 spaces that I have available, I need to choose another breaker, and those are going to be single pole 20 amps. You'll also see that a few more breaker types become available from this screen. I just need standard. Oops, 28. Add to configuration, you'll now see we're out of spaces and I have to finalize my configuration. You also have the option throughout that you can discard all changes and start over at any time by selecting that button at the top. Now, once I finalize my configuration, I need to download results as a PDF, which is actually going to open in a new window. So this is a great chance for you to go and save this file make sure you just have it available uh, to track your work. And then you can also continue to cart back on your shopping screen. It's going to remind you again to download that PDF if you haven't done so already to save for your records. And then in the cart, you're, you will see your specific pricing if you are logged in. If not, you're going to see that standard retail pricing and only be able to continue uh, to process that order. So this completes the panel board configuration. I hope you found this feature helpful and the Loeb Electric team is built to be an essential part of your success. Please share and subscribe.